Hello, our viewers. My name is Tarima Ivan. I am the principal investigator of a study titled Prevalence of Human Immunodeficiency Virus Related Thrombocytopenia Among Immune Suppressed Syndrome Clients at Imbarara Regional Referral Hospital in Southwestern Uganda. Abnormal hematological parameters are a common finding in HIV infection, of which thrombocytopenia has been widely reported. Thrombocytopenia in HIV is attributed to the antigenic mimicry of HIV and the platelet, where it is assumed that antibodies directed towards HIV ends up destroying the platelet, thereby causing thrombocytopenia in this group. Thrombocytopenia has been described as an independent predictor of morbidity and mortality in HIV. In this study, our team sought to determine the prevalence of thrombocytopenia and the occurrence of antiplatelet antibodies in our population. We used the electronic database of the ISS clinic since 2003 up to 2013 to determine the prevalence of thrombocytopenia and we prospectively enrolled 40 participants who had thrombocytopenia to be investigated for antiplatelet antibodies using the MIPA technique. In our results, out of the 15,030 client records, we found that 17.4% had thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytopenia was high among clients who were at naive, where we found a prevalence value of 17.8%, as compared to clients who were on art, where 13.0% had thrombocytopenia. Using multivariate analysis, we found a statistically significant association of thrombocytopenia with the CD4 count, HIV stroke AIDS infection stage, and other cytopenias. Out of the 40 participants prospectively enrolled for antiplatelet antibody assay, 5% had antiplatelet antibodies for glycoproteins 1A2A and 2B3A complex. From this study, we report a high prevalence of thrombocytopenia and because we have a high rate, we strongly recommend the use of platelet component therapy in our current blood transfusion practice to support such clients who might be at the risk of bleeding due to a low platelet count. Thank you very much for listening.